What's up mga kahydro? Welcome back to my channel and we're here once more to, di to discuss a um, special topic today. Now you're probably in this channel because you're curious whether to use your styro cup, a styro cup or a net, net cup. Stay put, I'll present my experience. You're probably here because you're confused if what to use in your hydroponics. Now, um, when I started hydroponics, I settled with the styro cups. This is uh, what most people use now nowadays. With regards to the styro cup, um, the average use or or average number of of cycles you can use. And the cups is probably around six to eight and it starts to break down especially when your farm is uh, in direct sunlight you no know, it accepts sunlight from six to eight hours um, as you can see I'm currently using a coco pit I used to use um, three medias the vermicast uh, the foam and the coco pit there's no significant difference between using any media or any of the three but um, I prefer to use now a cocoa pit because it's much cheaper and um, the price for the sack of cocoa pit at around 20 kilos is 280 pesos I found a contact somewhere in Mandawi here in Cebu and you can find a lot of source um, how much does a styro cup cost? Um, it's 35 pesos for 25 pieces. I will show in this portion here the breakdown of the cost per cup. Okay, so I think that's uh, the detail explained. Aside, aside from, um, it's pretty convenient because styro cups are readily available in supermarkets. Um, that's the good side with using styro cups. Here's uh, an example of a styro cup that's starting to break down. As you can see, it's broken. Um, you can see actually some holes in this portion here so you'll, you'll basically start to observe it when you start to sterilize or clean the styro cups so again it's around from my experience it's around six to eight times of um, growing cycle of a lettuce that it starts to break down so it is best that when you're Starting hydroponics, you count the number of holes and you have um, extra stocks of styro cups so that you can easily replace these cups when it starts to break down. Out in the market, there are actually two types of styro cups available. Um, there are 6 ounces and 8 ounces. The ones that are commonly used is the 8 ounces. I don't know with others if they're using the 6 ounces. Now, um, Upon purchasing these cups, I've observed also that there are two designs. One of which that doesn't have an ear. This one. And the, the other one, it has an ear. So, you have to choose well. For me, it is best to use this type of cups. Because it can insert straight from the neck. Here, at this level. The other one... I don't want to use this cup, this type of cup, because it stops from here. So there's a, a difference of around two, three to four millimeters that it will miss the water. So you have to raise the water level. Of course, that also entails increasing um, the water level in your grow box. So I would much prefer to use these types of cups because it's it allows you to set your water lower than the usual of course it's probably around 10 liters so increasing it a little further or higher will also add, add to up add up to your cost right allow me to also insert this um, portion when cutting or setting holes in your styro cups as you can see when I first started off I use cutters if you use cutters you can set set the, the openings a little higher than the middle portion of the cup so the longer the cuts 
um, the earlier the roots can go out in the cups so you, it will be more convenient if the roots are out so that you can set it in your grow box okay so what is more convenient should I use a cutter or should I use a soldering gun well for me if you want to save costs you can use the cutter because you don't have to pay for electricity but if you have a soldering gun and you don't mind paying for the electricity it's very very convenient to use the soldering gun um, one of my clients which um, I'm also guiding in his hydroponics is he put a hole in between the cuts here right here so so also he also placed a hole in, in the middle so he copied the style of a net cup a net cup also has a hole in the middle or at the center so I think he tried to copy a net cup so that the roots can conveniently go out of the cups as early as possible okay now we're done with the styro cups now let's proceed with the plastic net cups the plastic net cups um, I purchased this online in Shopee you can actually buy it in Lazada as well and other shopping sites um, majority of these cups come from China if you want it cheaper for around lesser at around one peso or two pesos each you order it from China um, some local suppliers may be able to provide you with these net cups most of them are coming from Manila I still haven't found um, a hydroponic shop here in Cebu but um, maybe soon but I got mine in a China supplier how much does it cost it costs around 93 pesos for 10 pieces of net cups okay um, how many times can I use a net cup um, one of my friends who is also into hydroponics was able to use four times and the cups started to be brittle um, also one of the disadvantage is it's not readily available when you go out and shop that's why I, I would much prefer you to use the styro cups because it's in available in the supermarket the net cups it's very expensive less often or less cycles you can use it um, and it's not conveniently available all the time okay these net cups also come in different sizes if you really want to use the net cups you can do so but this comes in different depth different sizes in width also the circumference or the diameter here where it will hold to your hole and not slip also comes in different sizes so be very careful to measure your the holes in your grow box before purchasing your net cups please make sure that it will also um, reach the bottom part of your grow box or your pipes all right now let's discuss in terms of um, what cup can a root grow out faster or which I mean um, how soon or which which is better to use um, between the two when the roots go out from the cups faster now in my personal experience it grows out faster in a plastic net cup simply because a plastic net cup has a lot of holes available where the roots can grow out from okay so this is one advantage of using a net cup no this is on only ad expensive this is cheaper this is built you have to do a lot of work when using styro cups but it's readily available in the market and the net cups ready to use when it arrives you can immediately use it um, in terms of root growth this one is much better compared to the net cups now I don't know if this will play a significant factor in terms of farming lettuce or growing your letters lettuce um, in terms of heat absorption between the two I believe 
that uh, the styro can deflect heat much better than the net cups. If you're using plastic pipes without insulators, there's a, uh, there's a little disadvantage of using the net cups because, I mean, the plastic cups because this can easily absorb the heat of the sunlight than the styro cups, okay? So, try to think of that factor as well when choosing between the two. Alright guys, I guess that's about it. I hope I was able to present um, all the details whether to use a plastic net cup or a styro cup. Now, that will now depend upon your choice on the explanation I just did earlier. Um, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have a friend or someone you know or you like my videos, please click on that notification bell so that you'll be updated with my new videos and also subscribe. Thank you so much and happy hydroponics. Bye!